hello law aspirants so push yourself move ahead nobody else is going to do it for you who except you yes you are the makers of your own destiny and if you are the makers of your destiny it is this vocabulary which will play a very important paramount pivotal essential inevitable role to make you reach and climb the ladders of success yes it's truly said this and so i'm giving you a long list of words again as today offered because hindu vocabulary students have been coming up with lot of um, queries and feedback mam when you are going to start with the root words soon soon dear every time we have loaded with new words and new roots so we'll be again shuffling with the things and we'll coming up with the new roots again so don't worry i hope you are enjoying the hindu vocabulary marking out the words in each day's paper and doing so let's start for the words for today this was the word i took yesterday rice i was uh, reminding you of the words that we did yesterday so it was a recall because some students wanted that i should recall the words that are there now today's verse is the word that is precise precise means very clear very accurate very correct see it is something which is error free see we have the root here e w r r error which means wonder to give you a homonym very precisely the word errant and the word errant see just a letter difference the word means to wander wander around now if you are a person who is just wandering around and moving and like the knights you know the knights used to wander around so that is the word it's a short trip see the word and this is a kind of a knight who used to wander and they used to be the people who used to be the escorts for the women they were known for the chivalry right so the words no error without any error 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 free or not erroneous see if we can have another word because flaw is used for mistakes so the word flawless so marked by exactness to the point very accurate of expression in detail exact accurate correct and error free no mistake is there so flawless thing it is spotless and the word we could use is immaculate please note the word you know writing the words making sentences you know it's something really very interesting it's something which you know adds fire to your imagination and enhances your vocabulary next word is precarious precarious means something when you're not sure of something see this you're very much sure this is something where you are not certain you are ha- you are in a what state right ambiguous state from the root ambi meaning to so ambiguous means a doubt between two things you are hanging in a dilemma in a state of dilemma it's an ambiguous state you're not very sure not securely held in a position dangerously likely to fall or collapse uncertain insecure unreliable unsure unpredictable right like nature is unpredictable you can't make out that there'll be flood there'll be fire there'll be famine there could be any drought anything so but if you're studying i can just make up a sentence in conditional form if you are really put if you put in your best your results were certain and sure that you would come out in flying colors next word is the word plummet plummet is fall or drop straight from a great height you know from up to the down this kind of a position have you heard the story the greek mythological story of stephen dedalus stephen dedalus was a great architect and um, he was uh, you know um, imprisoned or exiled by king minos of crete so what did he do he made wings of wax to fly away from this labyrinth with his son icarus this is a famous story from greek mythology but his son did not follow the father's warning and he flew too near the sun so what happened what happened yes the wings of the wax melted and his son had a 
plumette. What is plumette? It is a dive into the water. From the sky, the person falls down. The charis is symbol of failing humanity. Pride has a fall. Heard the epigram? That is what is applied. It is a wonderful story. You would enjoy doing it. You learn lot many words from it and the labyrinth word too. So, follow straight, drop straight down at a gate height, plume, hurdle, nose dive from height to town. So, this is a kind of a yes, it is a kind of a descent. The opposite would be a rise, ascent, lift, rise up. Right? Okay. Next word, plebiscite. Plebiscite is any vote. You know, if India is a democratic country. We have a sovereign, socialist, secular, democratic republic. We are free to choose the candidate of a choice. So, when you have a direct vote, you can give to the members of an electorate or an important public question, could be change of world constitution, vote, referendum, any ballot or a poll, that would be the word plebiscite. Because you are having the, the power see public has the power, they have the power to vote and choose the candidate of their own choice, right. Next word, pioneered. Pioneered, I would really want you to do write this word, the foreign word, avant-garde. Being a person of literature field, I have done various types of, you know, um, synopsis I have read, I am preparing the PhD students for their research. So, we come across various avant-garde the people who are the pioneers or beginners of any field, the people who launch, start, begin, uh, commence anything, that is the word pioneer. Develop or to be the first one to use something, introduce, evolve, start, begin launch or instigate. You make that thing happen. That is the word pioneer. See the opposite from the root AB meaning must have learned up this word by now. Move away. See the root N meaning is without. Right. So, abolish something, annihilate, annulled, nullify, make something like you have read in maths null set Yes, I also, my teacher made me learn that. So, null set is something you make it void, something which is totally destroyed or abrogated, right. From the root AB again, that is move away or keep away. Moving on to the next word, persuasive. Lawyers have a gift of gaff, they have the persuasive power and this quality is found in cogent people. Cogent people have this quality not everyone. So, you are good at persuading someone to make believe through your using or use of mind. You make someone feel that what you are saying is right. This is persuasion. See, a simple example, because you have a gift of gab, you are mesmerizing um, in your speech, you are a wonderful orator, you catch hold of something, you feel that Yes, I have that elusiveness, I have that uh, elation power, I have that uh, eloquence, right word eloquence because we have again the root L-O-G or L-O-C or L-O-Q meaning in the sense of speech. So, this persuasion, this argumentative skill, this gift of gab is found really in a lawyer. And when you are not able to convince someone, because the opposite would be convincing, when you are not able to convince someone, you are weak in your presentation, you are not able to make and read somebody's mind, which lawyers can do wonderfully, then your point would be very much unconvincing. Let us move ahead to more words in the next slide. The next word, quiver. Uh, you have seen that person is quivering because of fever? We do not quiver only because of fever, you also quiver because maybe you are frightened and stri uh, frightened and scared, you are a striken, you see a tiger in front of you, you I do not want you to have that quivering thing when you give your paper, right? Because this is something which will you know make your nerves shatter and you will feel become yellow, you will feel very nervous and diffident, coy and shy, no. You have to have that energy, the power, the you have to stick to your ground and you have to be very confident in your answers. So, 
when you tremble or shake when you are uh, you know your body is like in a very rapid movement you seen this kind of a movement like a vibration yes so it's the tremble shake or shiver it's a slight rapid motion it's a very quick motion that is the meaning of the word quiver so uh, in the interview or in any kind of a first case a lawyer or a newly recruit person usually quivers or shakes nothing can quiver you from your path if you are determined yes this determination steadfastness firmness is what is going to make you a perfect lawyer see the opposite of this you're very dull you're very quiet you're very still you don't catch attention of something that's the meaning for the word opposite to the word quiver next word very interesting word that is putative putative means something that you presume what's the root pre yes pre is before presume means you assume before only generally consider reputed to be this is supposed thing right this is assumption you heard the word assumption yes i do very often use it in my reasoning so it's an assumption this is a presumed case this is an acknowledged acknowledgement in the um, Uh, books you must be reading i have my own book being published so when you read that book you read the acknowledgement i would say that in my book i just wanted to discuss that i discussed uh, in the acknowledgement when you are writing for a book you write that i am thankful to so and so this person helped me to write the book i am thankful to the people who helped me to check the manuscripts the details the uh, suggestions given by various people so this is an acknowledgement acknowledgement means you accept this yes there are various people behind my success so this is an acknowledgement this is what is putative a very important word please note putative means you accept something that it is true it is right it is genuine it is authentic next word purportedly purportedly is appearingly true but actually not not necessarily true what is the word we could use exactly for this please see the word apparently apparently is what appearingly not necessary it is allegedly it is ostensibly it appears so but it is not the fact not the reality so it is the word perpetually the opposite would be impossible impossible improbable incredible something which you can even not think in your dreams like the idiom we would use a far cry right something we cannot even think of that this is thing going to happen ever next word very much linked with this word only perpet perpet is you allege something you're reputed your peer or state something to be true though not necessarily because it's the same this is an adverb use this is a verb usage more of the word it appears the true on the surface see there is two meanings in english there is a surface meaning there is a symbolic meaning what does the writer want to say on the top and what is a hidden meaning behind it that is the symbolic meaning here so you are trying to add on there is a layer of meaning the hidden meaning the in depth meaning that is there so in that case you are more reputed and you are more feeling that this appears to be true so the opposite would be very true right this would be a statement an assertion a declaration or a proposition proposition is an idea right we take up the last word for today prominent your selection is very prominent for us very important for us something which is leading famous eminent now i really want to add one more thing a man of letters so this is prominent prom very important occupying the front rank position it is not something which is obscure or hidden it is in the limelight it is in the focus you focus on it you you know accentuate on it what is ac root yes the root ac that is sharp you know i have last and vistas of knowledge and these words to offer to you and it really feels you know impossible to end up at any stage but i have a limited section to do that and so for today i have given you the most most important words for the hindu paper please do give up a thumbs up for a content the matter that you like the most and do subscribe our channel thank you